hi guys hello welcome and welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Athena and I create videos related to motherhood our life you know in general fashion videos especially for curvy girls in today's video um, I haven't done one of those videos in a long time because in general I've been procrastinating and I feel like talk videos as well I know doing that well but who cares if one person watches you know talk video that I'm doing because I like this kind of videos I think that it can help one person so if I feel that I can help one person that you know that that's something you know before I start talking ranting or marbling don't forget to subscribe uh, press the notification button so you get notified every time I post a video uh, did I subscribe yeah like this video share it and and all that good stuff um, you know it helps my channel you know to, to keep growing and all that good stuff anyway today I wanted to talk about um, what to do when you feel like crap when you feel like shit either physically or mentally I think it's something that a lot of people I mean you know it's a human thing we have our good days we have our, we have our bad days and sometimes we, when you have too many bad days that can signal something maybe a mental health issue if you feel like you are really struggling I'm not a doctor or anything like that but if you feel like you're really struggling you know you know with your mood if you have too many bad days then sometimes it's good to see a professional specialist and all that but by all means I'm not a doctor so um, and avoid self-diagnosing yourself this is what we you know people usually do we self-diagnose you know you hear a lot of I don't know and especially in this generation I think they're glamorizing mental health a little bit too much like everything is mental health oh my god I want everything super tidy I must be so OCD they don't even know the meaning of the word they don't really understand what people with OCD and all these uh, mental health disorders are really experiencing or oh my god I'm so active I have I must have ADHD and stuff like that we just throw like serious scientific like terms just like that we just throw them out there and we self-diagnosing ourselves and you know we think that we are something that we have something that we don't really and i hate that because that makes people that actually suffer from those mental health illnesses it's not it's not fair for them because it's like we are we are minimizing their problem when you know you experience something that is totally different from what the person is actually you know feeling like with OCD or oh, I'm having a panic attack oh my god I lost my keys I'm having a but you, you don't know what panic attack really is apart from that that was you know and uh, yeah as I said we all have our bad days so um, and I don't want to take it too deep I don't want to say oh you know when you feel depressed or all that but in general when you feel like shit sometimes you just know having a good day or a couple of good days um, you are you don't feel you feel sluggish you don't feel um, motivated to do anything you feel lazy and all these kind of things it can affect you because it can affect your productivity you don't want to do anything and you, maybe you're pro pro procrastinating too much like some project I've been doing that recently a lot because uh, I was just not in the mood to do anything. I uh, wanted to film some videos, I haven't done it. I wanted to edit some videos, I didn't do that. So it can affect. But sometimes, even if you're feeling like that, even if you're feeling that I don't want to do nothing, maybe you don't really need to do anything. You know, if it's not a matter of life and death, then you don't have to, you know. If you, because sometimes we are burned out and we don't realize. So maybe that's your brain telling you to slow down. It's not always all oh, because you are lazy and all that. Maybe you, you need to be lazy sometimes. So that's where I wanted to get to. So that's my first point. Um, so sometimes just sit in your feelings, you know, just 
just do nothing right you know admit oh i feel like shit today i don't want to do nothing you know maybe you want to throw a little cry you want to just feel depressed maybe you overthinking just just let these thoughts run through your head if it's not something too dangerous like you know feeling like you want to harm yourself obviously you speak to someone but you know if it's like normal things like yeah just sit in your feelings like um don't try to analyze or anything but just sit there be miserable i swear like sit there be miserable sorry um i just got my apple watch I'm going new one because the previous one got stolen so yeah anyway uh yeah just sit in your feelings and do nothing um sorry i might be looking down because I, I wrote some notes so i can't remember things when you let yourself just feel miserable and all these negative things you can't feel lower than that you know um so allowing yourself to experience all those feelings and also by allowing yourself to feel those feelings um it will help you also realize why you're feeling those feelings you know um if you're having a bad day or if you're feeling like shit maybe there's something more serious that is going on in your life maybe in your personal life maybe in your work or anything you know so you might realize oh actually this bothers me that's why i'm feeling like that or actually um i don't feel good within myself like maybe you know i go i gain a little bit of weight and i don't feel confident anymore so all those things will affect your mood so yeah just sitting your feelings it will help you realize also you know also realize why you're feeling the way you're feeling and then after that you can only go up right so you're feeling all these things and then you realize wait a second i feel like that because of that so you know i i'm done feeling sorry about myself at some point you will get tired of yourself feeling miserable so yeah you're gonna be like okay i'm done feeling sorry for myself and i know what i'm gonna do you know then you start to feel better and then you feel motivated okay i'm gonna go to the gym you know what i'm gonna eat a healthy meal i'm gonna start making some small changes to make myself feel better it's when it reminds me when when i was a teenager and i was heartbroken about the boy or whatever you know because that would really get me down like when i was rejected by someone or whatever it will really make me that could be the the thing that would get me the at my lowest right so i would be feeling so depressed i would be crying for days maybe you know i would cry maybe for four days the fifth day all of a sudden it's like a switch you know and i don't know how it happens maybe it's just the brain you know that's maybe that's how we are made and sorry my daughter and uh yeah one day i think you feel just tired of yourself feeling sorry for yourself so it's just a switch and then i start to almost feel euphoric you know i start feeling good like okay i'm done like i'm over it i got over him after crying all these tears now i'm done and i'm ready to change it actually it really happens to me like it really used to happen to me when i used to go through all this you know whatever and then i will start feeling very motivated and you know i will feel strong that i'm on top of the world that i can't do anything okay i'm gonna go study now you know forget about this uh, teenage boy i'm gonna go to uni now i'm gonna i'm wow. what is it wow. yes yes wow. yes baby wow. i'm gonna achieve everything that i want to do and and yeah i think when you're at the lowest and at some point you stop feeling what you're feeling so it's important to just let thoughts and emotions run through you rather than like distracting yourself sometimes we're trying to distract ourselves like to push the problems away no i'm not feeling this way a lot i'm just i'm just gonna push it i'm gonna just gonna forget about it like you know and then at some point something would trigger 
check it out you know, your problems will come and find you as we say and um you're gonna have to face the reality at some point you know and it, it will be in a form of a very um i don't know it's gonna be like a big thing you know when these problems come and find you so instead of trying to avoid them sometimes it's good to just face them um talking about yeah let your sit in your feelings and all that but sometimes sometimes it's good to distract yourself as well you know it might be good to sit in your feelings but if you sit in your feelings too much as well it's not good because then you're gonna be feeling miserable every single day so sometimes just try and let it go sometimes rather than um having issues we are ch ch chasing those issues it's like you're trying to create more problems for yourself when you start having those negative thoughts maybe when you start feeling like shit and all that maybe sometimes it's good to distract yourself right that sitting in your feelings if it's too much right so um yeah it's not it's not bad just distract yourself like take a shower take a walk um just do something drink your favorite beverage or self-care is a big thing it's a good way to distract distract yourself but by doing that by caring for yourself doing all those things that those good things for yourself then you will start feeling better and then you will you will realize wait a minute that's not really an issue i don't even know why i was worried about that so and then you forget about it and then you just feel good so yeah self-care is a big thing i like to do my nails now like i'm not really going to the salon anymore i got my all my gel kits the gel kit and my uv lamp, lamp and everything so i have everything set up so i love i love it it's quite therapeutic you know? so self-care doing things for yourself it actually is therapeutic i'm sure you've heard that a lot of times but if you don't love yourself then how can you love anyone else even jesus said it you know love others like you love yourself we first need to love ourselves so we know how it is like to love others isn't it so you practice on yourself first um as i say have a shower i dyed my hair as well recently i'm like i'm tired of looking faded and all that so i've changed my hair you know and i feel i feel good i feel pretty and all that sometimes i get headaches i used to have that especially uh, at the earliest stage of my pregnancy apart from getting painkillers and eating because hunger can really you know trigger headaches as well i would go have a shower wash my hair as well my head like it's very important and then the headache will go and then i will feel better in general remember if you feel bad physically it will affect you mentally and if you feel mentally but mentally will affect you physically the two are you know related yeah when i get headaches i'm miserable i'm like miserable so and it is not a good thing it's not it's not nice for your loved ones to be around you when you're miserable sometimes you have to think of others as well don't just be like oh i'm miserable like leave me alone if you do that too much then it will start affecting your life your relationships your family your loved ones so yeah when i get headaches i i take showers i wash my head i have something to eat you know? like just caring for yourself isn't it don't just stay in bed and do nothing yeah put on put on some makeup wear a cute outfit you know things that will boost you that will boost your self-esteem because sometimes it comes down to self-esteem as well you know maybe something is bringing us down it affects our confidence it affects our body image just dedicating some time to care for ourselves eat healthily exercise put on some nice makeup cute outfit then you will feel better you will feel better it will boost your confidence and your self-esteem and then you will feel happier you know so it's not rocket science that's how it goes also sometimes we are burned down like you know life uh, caring for kids work and all that we can really run you down just do nothing and just sit in front of the tv and watch your, your favorite show and just order the takeaway if you don't want to cook that's fine you know it's a one if it's a one-off it's not every day you can order a takeaway and just 
allow yourself to relax and rest sometimes when we are not resting lack of sleep as well uh, and quality of sleep it can really affect your mood as well so make sure you rest and you take um, you have good sleep you let the kids run around at some point then I get tired get them to bed and it's your time just chill just relax and also I wanted to talk about another thing sometimes you really feel demotivated you nothing excites you you don't really want to watch a movie you you just don't want to do nothing like seriously like literally nothing appeals to you um, just do something different I think that happens because every day you do the same thing I I am like that now I'm not going to work as I used to because obviously, obviously I'm pregnant I'm gonna be off work soon and um, it can affect me sometimes you know the routine doing the same thing every day it can really be dreadful it can really um, affect your mood you know? as moms as well stay home moms you need to be doing something different every day otherwise you're just gonna I don't know maybe just, that's just me maybe some moms will just wake up and be excited yay you know to look after their kids but sometimes it just it's just monotonous you just get bored and boredom um, is something that um, really affects my mood and other people's mood so sometimes it's just good to do something different you know just go for a drive or you know uh, I never used to take my daughter to the park for some reason I don't know maybe it's the weather as well I really I recently discovered a very nice park I take her there you know it's something different she enjoys it I enjoy watching her playing and all that then she gets tired then she will sleep and then you know it's me time so just figuring out doing just figure out and do something different don't overthink as well if you are thinking too much as I know we're thinking myself sometimes when I start thinking too much you just cut to you just need to cut that shit off I'm just gonna tell you bluntly you just need to cut it off those negative thoughts we said previously sitting your feelings but sometimes when it's too much as I said cut that shit off and just do something just do something like I don't know do 10 squats or drink some water or just get out of the house you know that's another big thing uh, doing some when you want to do something different get out of the house as I said life can get monotonous especially for moms get out of the house what are you doing in the house the whole day like you don't have to clean every day you might be dirty it doesn't matter it's your house no one will kill you for it so you know do something different don't stress yourself every day about the house and this and that that's a not not to self you know <laughs> but yeah just get out of the house sometimes being in the house and looking at the mess and looking at dirt and looking at the same toys every day it affects you so sometimes just get out of the house so even if it's just to go to the shop I'm always aim to get off the house once in a day you know um, I know it's not something exciting that I'm going out to the shop to do but at least it's it's a change of scenery and it's important change of scenery and that's why um, nature helps going to the park helps you know nature really helps it's a really I think it's a natural element isn't it nature looking at nature looking at the sea looking at the trees so yeah just go for a walk into the nature and do something my daughter is just yeah quiet today thank god for once what is it do you want an apple mama mama um yeah just another thing shopping i love shopping like I just love it even just browsing on the internet looking at nice things it can really you know make make me feel good you know I know it's not good because you sometimes you are wasting money you're buying things that you don't have to over cons consumerism is not good but sometimes when I feel like crap I just I just browse online and I shop and sometimes 
just I would I just want to get it out of my system. Maybe I'm looking at a cute outfit for too long. So if I don't order it, then it will still be in my mind. So sometimes I would just order just to get it out of my of the system. Then when I receive the order and I realize that oh, it's not as good as it looks on the internet, I just return it and you know that urge is gone. So sometimes that's what I do. I can always use my credit card so you know um I don't spend my actual money. I just spent I just use my credit cards so you know it's easier. Uh, yeah. Yes. Okay. Anyway, um just to wrap this up, as I said before, I wanna say again, sometimes you need to do something if you feel like crap. And sometimes you don't need to do anything, you know, just sit there and do nothing, you know. If you are overworked, overburned, burned out and all that, it's good to do nothing. And um and then if you are too if you're too sluggish, too lazy and all that and it's it's becoming a problem that you need to start doing something obviously know when you need to distract yourself and know when you need to just sit down and do nothing it's okay to sit down and do nothing to be honest because um we are always stimulated in this society the internet social media everything is just bombarding bombarding and we don't realize the effect that has on us and in our mood and in our mental in our mental state you know all of those things it can really really like affect your mood and all that and um we have distractions everywhere and it's important sometimes to just um do nothing about it you know don't feel guilty about it you don't feel like doing anything you know just shut everything off close everything and just sit there do nothing that's why it's important to pray some people are meditating and all that um yeah that's why it's it's good to have your quiet time as well that's another thing have your quiet time rest sleep and all that so yeah these are uh that will be a long video again but yeah i think i was making sense and uh yeah if you like this video please don't forget to like and subscribe share it with someone that you know that someone that needs to hear it that someone that needs to listen to me talking about those things it might help someone why not and if you feel like you can help someone just share my video and um and yeah i will see you in the next one bye all night long yeah. We dance with our raisin tongues and all day long